Quintus Ligurius was a Roman soldier who was one of the members of the conspiracy to assassinate Julius Caesar. He had been accused of treason for having opposed Caesar in the civil war in Africa, but was defended so eloquently by Cicero that he was pardoned and allowed to return to Rome. He later conspired with Brutus in the assassination of Caesar. Civil War Quintus Ligurius was a member of an equestrian Sabine family. He had gone to Africa as legate to the provincial governor Gaius Considius Longus, who later returned to Rome leaving him in control. After Pompey was defeated by Caesar at the Battle of Pharsalus, Pompey's ally Publius Attus Varus occupied Africa, hoping to restore the Pompeian cause. Ligurius became one of his assistants in the continuing battle against Caesar. He was present at the Battle of Thapsus. After the Pompeian defeat, he was captured at Hadramitum. He was spared by Caesar, but he was not allowed back into Italy. Trial Ligurius' brothers asked Cicero to intercede on behalf of their exiled relative. Cicero secured a meeting with Caesar, who seemed receptive but then an order was made to arrest Ligurius on charges that are no longer clear, but appear to have involved the claim that he conspired with King Juba I of Numidia. The prosecution seems to have emerged from a grudge held by Quintus Elius Tubero over an incident when Ligurius denied Tubero's family help when he was in charge of Africa. At the trial Cicero gave an impassioned speech in Ligurius' defense, known as the Pro Ligurio. He ignored the actual charges, but instead made an emotional appeal for reconciliation and clemency, warning of the dangers of vendettas. According to Plutarch, Caesar was emotionally overcome, his body shook and some documents fell from his hand, and so under compulsion he acquitted Ligurius, conspirator. The acquittal allowed Ligurius to return to Rome. Plutarch writes that he did not forgive Caesar for pardoning him. This hatred, and his friendship with other liberators, caused him to join the assassination plot. According to Plutarch, Ligurius was ill in bed when he was visited by Brutus. He told Brutus that he would be made well again by helping him with his plot. Plutarch refers to him as Keys Ligurius in the passage, but the context strongly implies that he is referring to the same person who was tried and acquitted. There is no record of Ligurius' fate, but his brothers were listed in the prescriptions issued by the Caesarians of the Second Triumvirate in 42 BC. In Shakespeare, Ligurius is a character in William Shakespeare's tragedy Julius Caesar. He is called Caius Ligurius, which is the name used by Plutarch when describing the episode of his sickness. He is depicted, following Plutarch, as a sickly man, though strong in mind, with a grudge against Caesar for reprimanding him for admiring Pompey. His absolute trust in Brutus sets up the role of Brutus as a moral model whose leadership is necessary to being others on board. Though part of the conspiracy, he does not participate in the assassination itself.